So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Why, thank you, Brynjolf. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. I know. I know. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Yay! Now, here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Oh, do you now? Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Mm hmm. 300 gold removed. A load of potions have been added. Ah, fair enough. What's that? Judging spend? from how well you've handled those shopkeepers. I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. Thank you. We need people like you in our outfit. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds good. If there's more gold where I came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. Oh, thank you. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Thank you. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True. We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? Hmm. Sounds cool. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Yay! Looks like come in. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. He doesn't stop. I does, he doesn't. He never stops saying that. But there we go. Here we go. The bookshelf has been opened. Yay! We can now come through, and we can go into the Ragged Flag and Cistern. Now this is the heart of the Thieves Guild, which is a very, I'd say, cool place. But really, it's it's just as grim as anywhere else I've been. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, let's have a quick look. Hello, bring you off. Go and talk to Massa. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Okay. How do you know who I am, Mr. Massa? Hey? Eh? Hmm? Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Oh my god, take your time, Brynjolf. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here I know. before we begin. I know. Mercer. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Another? Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. Mm, fair enough. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Fair play. Do I make myself clear? Massa, you are a git. I can already tell. Yes, I understand. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Fair estate enough. is critically important to one of our largest clients. Okay. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Ooh, that sounds fun. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Yay! Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Hooray! Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. <laughs> Fair enough. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. Okay. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Okay. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Oh, awesome. Armor. Oh, that's cool. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoff. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Okay. Three of the hives need to be burned. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Hi. 
The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. What should I do about Argoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, brilliant. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Uh, and now that you're clear, Arangoth mm. stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. Oh my. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Oh no. Mercenaries, not Riften guards. Right. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Okay, cool. Will they? How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Flame. Cool. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Cool. Why not level the entire instead? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Ooh, I recognize that name. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept blowing. Okay, cool. If the workers had to speak. now. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangar. Oh, doesn't matter how dangerous it is, Grossa. Okay, cool. Um... So, we have got to go and talk to Vex and get our armor from Dinya as well. So, back to the Ragged Flag and we go quickly. Now, I have to say, the armor has been the most exciting thing for me about the whole Thieves Guild. <laughs> I mean, we're still wearing our Imperial armor. Once we're out of here, I'll, I'll show you quickly. Hang on, look. Look at that. That is an interesting look, really, isn't it? <laughs> so, let's go and get some cool Thieves Guild armor. Uh, oh, literally, that's all he says. Ever. Like oh my god, I'm so tempted to kill you. Ah, here we go. Uh, to tell you. So you're the new recruit, huh? Yay! Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. And why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. Of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Cool. Is there anything you don't charge sure. for? How about I get dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time and I've seen all types. You can play it tough or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh. Yay! What do you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Let's just see if we can get rid of any of our junk quickly. Uh, I'm sure I've picked up some weapons at some point. Uh, Dwarven mace. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. That glass sword is pretty cool. Uh, Imperial bow. That's pretty cool as well. Orcish bow. Let's get rid of that quickly. Battle axe of cowardice. No, we don't need that. Steel axe of cowardice. I picked up any armor at all? Um. In fact, actually, we're not wearing... We're not wearing an amulet. Charm necklace, carrying capacity increased by... That's a ton. That's awesome. Um, sorry, I'm just looking... Have we got any... Ah, here we go. Light shield. We don't need that. Steel plate armor as well. We don't need that. Cool. I'll do for now. Mm -hmm. Let's put on the armor. Let's see if it looks cool. Here we go. So, these guild... Ah, right, so the armor increases carrying capacity by 20 points. That's pretty good. Pickpocket success is 15% better. Yes, that's good. Lock pitting is 15% better. Good. Prices are 10% better. Oh, awesome. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, what ring have we got on at the moment? A gold sapphire ring. You know what? I'm sure we can do better than that. Time between charts for 20%. Now I'm going to increase carrying capacity. I think that'll be cool. Um... What rings have we got? Let me just see. Ring of recuperation, stamina. Re yeah, stamina recuperates faster. I'll do for now. Let's have a look at our new look. I'll step into the light a bit. Hang on. 
Come on. There we go. That's not bad. It'll look. It's still a little lame, but that'll do for now. Awesome. Talk to that. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Well, everyone wants to make things One, clear. I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. Fine. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. Okay, fine. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Fair and enough. And we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Fair enough. What sort I'm of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Oh, I know. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. Mm. You want my opinion? I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. Fair enough. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Fair enough. So, Vex and Delvin over there. Um, oh, he was sat there, but he's moved now. You can get side quests from them, and they will come in important later, but we're not going to do them for now. Um, for now, we're going to actually go to Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Cool. Awesome. So we can go in via a sewer. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine for now. Uh, now, we're going to go back into the cistern quickly because A, the, the route out is, is this way. We've got a nice cool route in and out of the guild. But B, there's an archery trainer in here and I'm actually going to spend some money to get archery up. It's one of their skills that's quite tricky to level. So I don't mind spending the gold for it. Um, let's see if we can find him quickly. Uh, which guy is it? Got it's minute. not Rune. Not you. Oh, it's her, this guy, I think. Sinric. Wanted to say something to you. No, 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 no. Hang on. Hey, hey! I want to talk to you. No, go away, people. I don't want to talk to you. I want to find the archery trainer. Where are you, Mr. Archery Trainer? Uh. Oh my gosh, is this him? You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coal. Uh, Vepa the Fleet. Hey, let's talk a second. No. Okay. Maybe it is this guy. You're all right. How did you think I'm so good at picking locks? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. Oh, I don't want to hear it. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild. Skills like yours? Why not? I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living either. With my lock picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking. I made a great deal of gold doing it too. Oh, good. Well done. It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Oh, fair enough. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... Well, to kill someone on their behalf. Bad play. Either way, the trick was in the escape. That's where my strengths came in handy. Why did you stop doing it? Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I do jobs for the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. Fair play. I think I see what you're getting at. The last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. Wow. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. Well, that's a prison work, eh? Why did you join the Guild and not the Brotherhood? Know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Fair play. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. Fair play. Right, come on. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Some other time, perhaps. Sure, we can talk again. Okay, damn it. He's not the archery guy. Is it this guy? Neron. A lot of people ah, are beginning here we go. to get impressed with you here. I'll show you what I know. Please do. Right, I've already got level 44, so let's just burn a bit of gold. 45, 46, 47, 
48. 49. Awesome. Right, that's all I can level up at the moment. You can only level up five times for each actual level that you get, but that's fine. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you something quickly. If I save it, um, it's gonna be a short episode this one. I apologize. But I just used money to pay for a skill. Now what I can do is I can actually attempt to pickpocket that money back. Do you see there it is? Um, uh, although you can see my, my chances of, of pickpocketing are well are bad to say the least so I'm not going to be able to do it but you could in fact pickpocket him back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pickpocket something that will be easy to steal from him. Um, a lockpick. There we go. Get my pickpocketing level up a little bit. Awesome. Uh, and there we go. Let's leave. So that's basically what I use money for in this game, is just to increase archery up. Um, if we can get archery up nice and high, we'll be able to do lots and lots of damage, and it just makes us so much better as a person. Especially 99 sneak, 99 archery. It's pretty good. Can't complain at all. Do, 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 do. So, we are off to Honey Glow Meadery, uh, where we're going to try and... Um, oh. Okay, we can't get up here apparently. Um, oh, there's a chain. That's why. There we go. Wow. Thieves Guild discovered. Oh, I like that. So, now the entrance has been opened. That's cool. Hey! Shrine of Talos. Blessing of Talos added. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to say, as I say, go to Honeymead Estate now, and we will uh, I'll pick you up then. See you in a bit. Bye!